say that I'm good enough But I'm not good enough Think about shit that I shouldn't have So I'll tell him it's one of me He making fun of me His girl is above me Like that boy is a cap Saying he home but I don't know where he at Like Checking in with you. So I just got back from my home away from home, my other apartment. I don't really film out there just because, you know, when I'm out there, girl, I'm really just focused on establishing myself out there. I'm about to unbox the packages that came in from Amazon for my BBL, my BBL supplies. I ordered me some, I pretty much already knew what to order for my first BBL. So I pretty much duplicated what I got because what I got worked for me. But I also, Got a few extra things. So um, let's get into it. I'm honestly really excited. I leave in the morning. My flight is around like 6 a.m. But I'm going to get there around like 2 a.m. Because of course it's Friday and a lot of people are going overseas. So I'm going to make sure to be there super early. Because girl, when I'm flying by myself, I get really tense. And I start like freaking out and stuff. So I don't want none of that. So I'm going to be proactive. And I ordered all my stuff last minute. Mainly, I guess because I've already been through it before. So I already know what to expect. And my doctor's really good. But girl, so first of all, I got me some lipo foams. I got the black ones because last time I got the nude lipo foams and they got dirty really fast and I didn't like that. Like you can see all my blood on them and stuff. So this time I got the black ones. This is for the back side and this is gonna be for the front side. There's that and I'm gonna just throw them everything right here. Then I want us to be pretty in pink, you know, pretty in pay gang was popping. So I got me a cute pink airport outfit. I didn't buy any maxi dresses because I already have dashiki dresses. So I'm gonna take my three dashiki dresses because I don't wanna be wearing any sweats or anything tight. I wanna wear something real flowy and airy. But I'm gonna wear this to the airport. And I just wanna be cute with my blonde hair. I got it in a large, I believe. This is a large, let me see. It's cute. Yeah, this is a large set. It's real plush. It feels real plush. I like it. This is gonna be real cute. And the bottom is real tight, so I like that too. And the hoodie looks real cute. So, I like that. That's cute. So yeah, girl, that's gonna be my airport fit. The pink on pink. I got some house shoes to match. I didn't wanna take my Christian Dior slides out there or any of my chanclas. I wanted some real nice and fluffy. I got mine, ooh, did I just cut some hair off? I think I did. I got mine in a size 9, 10. Yeah, these are of size 41. Okay, so I guess these are like an overseas brand. Cause it usually says nine or 10, but they say it's 41 on them. Yeah, these are really cute and they're really soft too. So that's gonna be a cute little vibe. And then I got me some of, are these the puppy pads? Yeah, these are the disposable 
puppy pads, or no, these are leak pads, you know, because whenever you're draining on the bed, you don't want to be getting the bed dirty and stuff. My doctor usually gives us a drain. My doctor is not like the doctor in Miami where he lets you drain out, like, just freely. My doctor always puts a drain in you, which honestly, I really appreciate it because I didn't want to have blood all over the place. I'm gonna bring these, but I remember, I didn't get that many because I remember I didn't need them that much since I had a drain, but I'm gonna bring them just in case. Then I got some Arnicare cream, which is, for, it's plant-based, I didn't even realize. And it's for muscle pain, stiffness, and swelling. When you're getting massages, this is some really good to use, obviously, because it's for muscle pain, stiffness, and it helped me out a lot with my bruising. And then you'll want to get some bromelain. This is an enzyme. This also helps you heal. I got me some stool softener, Dulilax Pink. I got this because when you, if you have to take a shit, you don't want to be like having to push a lot because it's just like, you know what I mean, girl. This will just help it, you know, gently relieve that so it can just fall right out, you know? And then I also got me some Tylenol PMs. So when I'm going to sleep, I won't be taking any pain pills in order to put me to sleep at night because I do not want overdose and I don't want anything bad to happen to me. And for my first time, I did take Tylenol PMs to help me go to sleep because Percocets, I feel like if you don't take them on a daily basis, you know, if you don't use Percocets, if you're taking them for your surgery, they will definitely last you, I feel like the whole day, like you'll be, you'll be, you won't be in so much pain. So the Tylenol PM definitely helps. And I also got me some Nature's Bounty Iron Pills. 65 milligrams it supports blood red blood cell production obviously you're gonna have surgery so you're gonna lose blood so this will come in handy especially if you're anemic you definitely want to bring you some iron pills i also got me some arnica pills they're for the same thing that the arnica cream is for going down and obviously muscle stiffness it's it's it, it's, it speaks for itself, girl. Oh, and then I got me some Botanica recovery pills. So these are heal fast pills. Maintains a healthy tissue response during connective tissue repair. These gonna help your muscle grow back onto the skin or the skin go back onto the muscle or whatever, girl. It's just gonna help you bounce back, okay? So I got me some gauze. Ooh, what time is it? Damn, I forgot to go to the store. Oh, I gotta go to the store. I gotta go to a Walmart. What time does Walmart close? Jeez, I forgot I have some stuff I have to get. Dang, 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 dang. Okay, they're open to 11, so good, I have time. But I still have a few things that I need to get. I still gotta get some antibiotic soap, ointment, medical tape, white muscle shirts, electrolytes. I have my compression socks. I get a pill organizer, my pain pills. But I got some gauze for obvious reasons. I know a lot of people like to wear their maxi dresses after their surgery, but I feel like since you're gonna be le leaking and draining, I got me these isolation gowns. Honestly, when I brought these, one of the ladies told me, she was like, that's really smart. Versus, you know, getting your stuff all dirty and having to, you know, lift up your arms and put it on. Honestly, you just slide this on, close it up, and girl, throw on your robe and go out the door. I want everything to be, be really loose on me. My faja is gonna be uncomfortable enough, so I didn't really wanna wear any clothes. This is my organizers for my suitcase. I know like some people, they get Ziploc bags for the like hair brushes or toothpaste, like separate everything so things don't get dirty. So I decided to buy these. They're like little um, compartment organizers. See, like you could put, it has little zippers. So yeah, it comes with a whole bunch of different like baggies to put stuff in and just that way you can stay organized. Cause girl, I love to be organized. I cannot stay on my stuff is all over the place. And I'm going out the country, I'm gonna be having a lot of pills and stuff on me and just money and all type of stuff. Cause I, you do have to take cash for your surgery. So I do have my cash for my surgery. I brought my, I only owe him 5,200 left because I already sent my $300 deposit. But I also brought a little bit extra cash just in case, you know, to tip people or, you know, just, you know, just in case I wanna buy souvenirs or I see a little boutique I wanna buy something from or whatever. But as far as everything else, I'm paying with my um, PayPal account for my recovery house. I'm gonna send them the rest of the money through PayPal. My flight's already paid for. 
and then my surgery. That's also why you want to do your research and bring all the things that I'm telling you to bring. Otherwise, if you don't, when you get there, you'll have to pay for it. Me, when I got to Dominican Republic, everybody was really shocked. They're like, dang, girl, you got everything. Because a lot of people don't really do their research. They just do their research on the doctor and where they're gonna stay and don't really bring the supplies that they're gonna need. Got your money, and I have a little case for that that I'm gonna put it in. What's in here, what is this? Oh, my lipo foams. Yeah, these are my lipo foams right here. That's to keep you compressed while you're in your faja along with your back and front board. Ooh. Then I got, I got, um, oh, this is the soap, the like surgical soap that you're gonna wash off with the day of your surgery. It's called Hippoclin. Get the small one because you're literally not going to need much. I still have my big bottle of Hippoclin from my first surgery. Of course, I'm not gonna take it because it's obviously expired by now. So just get you a little one. This one is a four ounce. Next, my fan, it better be pink because I ordered a pink one. Joe's white, cool, it's pink. So I got me a fan because girl in Dominican Republic is hot, okay? Just because you're gonna be driving in cars, the cars sometimes don't always have AC. Sometimes, you know, you, and, and while you're going to your appointments and getting your faja, walking outside, sometimes girl, it's just hot. So I wanted to get me one of these fans and I got this one specifically because I'm so tired of losing my fans. How do you do this? Oh, cool. Oh, there we go. There you go. I'm like, ooh, why my pink? So it only has two speeds on it. That's okay. Let me see. The air feels really good though, so two speeds is good enough. And then I think it has a charger on it. So you could charge your phone on this, so that's cool. So it's like a little mini charger too. Okay, so it's a charger and a fan all in one. Definitely worth the money. It was like 14 bucks, it was really cheap. Oh, and this is the interesting one. So girl, this is a urinal. Last time I was in the, um, got my BBL, I took a funnel. You know, like a funnel where you pour stuff in. I was like, girl, I'm just gonna bring my funnel. I was trying to be cheap or whatever. But when you have to spread your legs and do all that extra stuff, it's just so uncomfortable. Oh, and it comes with it comes with stuff. Hold on. It comes with wet wipes. Okay, I'll take those. A little baggy. Disposable plastic gloves. Oh, and this is, I guess, the part to put on there so that it goes straight in the toilet. So this is what you'll put up against your punani when you have to pee. Obviously, because after BBL, you can't sit down. So I definitely recommend getting one of these. They're not that expensive. And let me see if it like, goes right on my cooter cat. Yep, it goes right up in there. So everything's gonna go right, shoot right up in there and go right into the toilet. Oh, yeah, that's cool, like it. I got me some di digestive enzymes with probiotics. It's for digestive health support. I'm also gonna go to the store and get electrolytes, like I said. I keep losing my phone. <laughs> All right, and then lastly, you wanna get you some electrolytes. Obviously, you're going to need it after surgery. White muscle shirts or black muscle shirts, compression socks. You're gonna need medical tape, ointment, and dial antibiotic soap. I'm going to go to Walmart here in a second and go ahead and go grab all that before they close. And then I also got one more thing. I got me this cute, little carry-on bag for my medicines and like for my camera and just for all the little things that i am not going to want to put in my check-in bag like my bbl pillow is going to be in there and my i also got me a heat blanket because i've been had it but after surgery, you're gonna be really cold. So I recommend getting a heating blanket. I'm going to, cause I'm gonna pack up real quick. What time is it? I want to go eat and then I need to go to Walmart and I need to take my dogs a bath and then I'm gonna relax. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make me a little list real quick. All right, so I got this cute carry-on case. It's pink, it matches. Cause I already have a suitcase. I didn't wanna get another suitcase personally because I have a hard body suitcase and I think it's really pointless getting 
I don't know. I wouldn't invest in getting a luxury suitcase mainly because they're going to throw it around anyway. And it's going to get all messed up. I'm just going to keep the suitcase that I already have. But I wanted to get a cute little... I'm so excited to see what this looks like. Let's see. I ordered it from Amazon. That's cute. Super cute. So that's going to be my carry-on bag. They have a 16-inch. And they also had a 20 inch. I didn't want a 20 inch though, because I, I mean, I probably should have got a 20 inch. I feel like a 20 inch, honestly, would have 16, been just a little bit bigger, and it still would have been carry on size. So I don't know, we're gonna see how I like this one. And if when I get back into the Dominican Republic, if I wanna, that's one thing I love about Amazon is you can return it. So if I wanna return it and get the bigger one, I will. But for now, I really like this one. That's cute. And it goes on your, I don't think this one has the straps though. This doesn't have the strap to connect to your suitcase, but I'm just gonna have it sitting on top of my suitcase and then my purse. So yeah, this is gonna be cute. We made it to Santo Domingo. Hi.
Honeys, what's pop lock and dropping? It's your girl Malaya checking in with you. Child, I just got to Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic not too long ago. Let me show y'all my room. It's super cute, it's a nice little vibe. Oh wait, I think I left my key in the door again. No, I didn't. <laughs> Let me find my key, I have to keep my key. Oh, it's this way. I'm getting lost, it's so big. <laughs> Licking ass. Wait, where did I put my key at? Oh. Hold on y'all, let me find my key. Cause I cannot find it. Okay, it's right here. Hmm. Gotta keep the key. So I got me a private room, mainly because, you know, I didn't really want to deal with anybody in my space. I'm a big time loner. I really like the room. It's big, it's nice, it's up to my speed. Girl, this is really cute. And then they got me this room because my guy was supposed to come with me. I had told them that he was gonna come, but he didn't end up coming. And I'm kind of upset because they made it to where it was big enough for both of us to stay. But girl, it's hot in here. Let me turn on some AC. Let's see if the AC get kicked on because it is hot in here. Boy, here it is. You know, they got one of these little AC thingies. See if it turns on. Cause I need some AC. Come on. I don't think I turned it on. Let me figure out how to turn this thing on. Okay, y'all. So I got the AC kicking. Yay. Let me take off my little outfit. So I got this cute little ensemble. It was my outfit, my airport fit from Amazon. Or my cute little poop. <laughs> my little peach chunk glass. But everybody keeps telling me, oh my god, girl, your body's so nice. You gotta get a touch up. Girl, yes. It looks so good. I'm so excited. Let me sit down and tell y'all what I think so far. I'm loving the vibes. The lady who's, I'm guessing she's the house mom. Her energy is amazing. She speaks English and Spanish. And I automatically just felt like, you know, comfortable and safe here with her. So I'm really happy that she's the house mom. And Jose, her... Primo, her cousin, was my driver who picked me up from the airport. He was very cool and chill. And what I liked about him was he didn't talk too much. I hate when I'm in an Uber ride or somewhere like that and the person does not know how to stop talking. So I really appreciate the fact that he was not annoying me and just gave me my space. And I also really appreciate the fact that when I got here, they had food ready for me. I'm very hospitable. So the moment I walked in, I was like, how can I finish paying y'all? Because I still owed them $1,225. I only put down my deposit. So thankfully, um, me, I have manners. So when I walked in, I was like, you know, I, the energy was good. I was like, hold on before anything. You know, how do I finish paying? So I zelled her the rest of my amount. After I was zelling them my amount, they were already making my food for me. She had my food down on the table for me, ready to eat. I got fish and some veggies. It was really good with some water. And she also got me some peanuts. I left them upstairs, but I'm gonna go grab them. Peanuts are really good, like a healthy little snack. Oh, and what I really loved is how when I got here, they gave me my space when I was eating. You know, they were like, you know, enjoy your food, you know, do your thing, and they just left me alone and let me eat my food. Everybody wasn't in my face talking to me and stuff like that. So I really appreciate that, that they are grown enough to know that, you know, you just got off a flight, you probably don't want everybody in your face, you know, people that you just, just met or whatever. And then I'm about to go upstairs to the pool. I got a little quick glimpse of the pool for y'all, but I couldn't really get too much of it, mainly because the security guard, he works from five to 11 up at the pool and he doesn't like photography because they think it's propaganda. She told me before five that I can go up there, you know, just get a quick little view for y'all. So I can't get one tonight, but I am about to change and get into my bathing suit, get ready to go sit up by the pool and chill and edit a little bit. And I'm also gonna show y'all real quick I'm gonna unpack and show y'all everything that I packed up and how I packed everything and stuff like that. So this cute little suitcase that I showed y'all that I bought off of Amazon. Girl, I'm talking about this is the best carry-on bag. Like I love this so much. It is so cute. Look at the detailing. It like has roses on it. It's really cute. I love it. And it's just like a cute, you know, carry on bag. And it's really hard. And I love the way it pops open. And so for this, oop. And here I have just like my, my camera. I brought my camera for detailing. You know, just a lot of my like little miscellaneous stuff, my chargers and stuff, my laptop, my case to my shades, my little mini fan that I showed y'all yesterday, my waterproof, my waterproof camera, which I'm gonna use up there at the pool. 
chargers, more chargers, and just like little, you know, just little carry-on stuff I have in there. And let me unpack, I know I look a hot mess, girl. Let me unpack my suitcase and show y'all what I got. closed right now it's friday which i'm kind of excited because my birthday is on the 13th of july and i leave here on july 10th so this is kind of like a little birthday gift to myself you know a little vacation or whatever i'm really excited about it straps in my luggage was someone in my luggage I'm so scared right now I don't know how them g-straps just got in here I got me a baggy sweatsuit fit to wear when I leave because I just have a feeling that this is not gonna fit me no more so I brought my little sweatsuit, and then I brought a roller, which a lot of people will tell you to get. It's good for after lipo to go in and rub your belly down to get those lumps out of there. I brought my charger for my heating blanket. I brought this for wood therapy, it's the same thing. Helps, you know, flatten up the stomach. I brought my little air pump because I also brought my avocado bed. That way I don't have to sleep on my butt. And if I don't feel like sleeping on my chest, if it starts to get uncomfortable. Then I brought my BBL pillow, which I've had since my first BBL. A lot of the supplies I didn't have to buy again because I already had them. And then my heat up blanket, my uh, overnight, my little um, isolation gowns, my foam pads, this, um, just in case I do end up having to sit down and take a number two, I could use this to sit on the toilet. And then I got my avocado bed. My booty gonna go through here. <laughs> ah, jeez, ow. This is my favorite part over here, the organized section. So I love these things that I bought. Let me show y'all. Okay, so here's a couple shoes. I only brought sandals. I didn't bring anything crazy. I'll be my Doc Martens. And then these little packages that I showed y'all yesterday, the organizers. I love them. Like, they really, really came in handy. So this one is all my toiletries. It has, you know, my toothpaste, toothbrushes, all that good stuff, No spray. This is toiletries only. You could get these off Amazon. And then I got this here with like a lot of my surgical supplies and gauze. And then in, this is my, some of my, my pads for my lipo. These are the only clothes that I brought. I brought me some night clothes, some dresses, my Ethica throw on. And um, I brought two of my dashiki dresses to wear after my surgery to put over my faha. I am going to see if I can go, somebody can take me to the store though, because I do need to get muscle shirts. I did not bring any muscle shirts. I totally forgot to grab some. <laughs> so this right here is all my hair stuff. So, you know, my straightener, brushes, oil. Oh, and then my face thingies in there too. Then we got this one. This one sounds like all my medicines that I'm gonna be taking. My Percocets are in here, my perks, my hydros, my vitamins, all that stuff right in here. And then I got, you know, some electrolytes, Pedialyte packs. You know you're going to need these after surgery. 
And just all the other stuff that I showed y'all last night that I got is all in this bag right here. And here is my panties, bras, and my swimsuits. The only things I did not bring are my puppy pads. I didn't bring those. I honestly should not have brought this. I didn't bring it last time for my first BBL, but because I was like, you know, laying on my belly the whole time. But I don't know, I just wanted to bring it just in case I ended up not wanting to sleep on my chest. So only things I'm missing are my muscle shirts and I didn't really use them though. I didn't use them my first round. I had so many, like I literally didn't even use them. So that's really why I didn't bring them. And the muscle shirts, honestly, I had just got back to town. So I just was doing so much and forgot. But I have no idea whose these are. I'm gonna throw them in the trash. It's kind of scares me a little bit that there is thong, a man's thong in my suitcase. Like did somebody open up my suitcase and put this in there? Or, girl, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna find the trash, cause this says I'm not washing this. But I'm gonna go ahead and unpack real quick and get settled in and I'm gonna check in with Donna Peel. I need this fruit, it's really nice. Cause I was wanting a little snack. It looks really good. Hey y'all, good morning. It is day two of Dominican Republic. My surgery is more than likely gonna be on Tuesday. On Monday, I'm gonna go for my appointment. I kind of wish he would have told me or somebody would have told me that because I feel like I should have had my surgery on a Thursday and maybe flew in on a Monday versus that way I can actually um, stay for the whole seven days of healing. So I'll only be here for six days of healing, which, you know, who knows? They might give me a free extra day. Who knows? We, we'll see. But that's the only thing because these Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I won't be doing anything. I won't be doing my first appointment till Monday. And then Tuesday is going to be my surgery. So if I would have flew in on Monday, then I could have had my surgery maybe on a Tuesday. And then I could have been stayed here for like eight days of healing or whatever. I just really wanted to try to stay at the recovery house for the longest. That way... I could, um, I wanted to try to stay at the recovery house as long as that way I didn't have to go home with a drain. Last time I had to go home with a drain and, uh, girl, when I tell you, that just ain't it. Going flying with the drain in you, it's crazy, it's not comfortable, it's just, that's how you know you're fresh, fresh out of surgery, so. I was trying to wait till I was done draining to go back home last time, and this time I'm definitely going to wait till I go back, so I'm not flying with that drain in me. But I just got out of the shower. I'm about to straighten my hair and then go mingle with everyone. They've been waking me up since seven. They woke me up like two hours ago. Um, and then somebody came and woke me up again. I just kind of been laying around because I was up late Friday yesterday. I was up like the whole day. I didn't sleep. Uh, I didn't even sleep. My fly I had to be, head to the airport at 2 a.m. So I didn't even film. Um, I didn't really have time to film. I was trying to make sure I got to all of my terminals on time sunscreen because it's hot out oh, here yeah. i my little thing hanging right here i didn't get no sleep i packed i got back from out of town packed up got ready to go left my friend dropped me off at the airport at 2 a.m left i was tired I, I was falling asleep a couple times on people <laughs> in the plane it's cool so i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed real quick go out there and mingle with everybody and see what the vibes are hot like a hundred hello 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 Loading, loading, strap with the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling Little when the listen, but I told him, told him One more time, your favorite MC's bronze or silver These raps here are golden, golden Cards on the table, there's no folding Spit bars at the club, zoning, zoning TikTok come to London, get ripped off Man get pissed off when I start lift off Sweet like flavors, cookie and biscuit Fronty, yeah, the bars I get ripped off Picked up myself, yo, every time I tripped up Little Teddy told the big rock Me and my D's do everything mix up Full circle, not everybody linked up That's irrelevant, maybe like an elephant Keep it hard, but you know that it's elegant. Get mad, but always benevolent. Always moving up, just leveling. Constantly telling and rhyming, bridging. Cycle through these streets, I'm pedaling. Hibernating and boom, she's back again. Oh, cause a little fire on the track again. Turn the music up, vibe like an icon. Icon, icon, yeah. If you want buff, we can go psycho. Psycho, psycho. Head to head, bout to bout, turn a mic on. Mic on, mic on. Turn the music up, vibe like an icon. Icon, icon. Yeah, I don't mind. 
mind, I'll do it for the hell of it, yeah Elevate bars, I regulate, yeah UK, wheel up the tune, just meditate If we didn't get it by now, then you're kinda late Man thinks he's a bad man, but he's kinda bait Live every day like it's my last celebrate Mind on the task, we calibrate Load it, load it, strike the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Keep pushing on, keep rolling, rolling They don't wanna listen, but I told him, told him One more time, your favourite MC's bonds are super Too bad these vibes here are golden Cards on the table, there's no folding Spit more than a clock, zoning, zoning That's irrelevant, make me look like an elephant Keep it hard, but you know that it's elegant Get mad, but always benevolent Always moving up, just leveling Constantly telling them, rhyming, rhythm Cycle through these sheets, I'm peddling Hibernating them bomb sheets back again Oh, cause the little fire on the check again Turn the music on, vibe like an icon Icon, icon, yeah, if you bump up, we can go psycho, 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 head to head, bar to bar, tell them icon, my con, my con, turn the music up, vibe like an icon, icon, icon. Who's the icon? Who's the icon? Icon, icon. so long i was on the phone nothing too serious just my little sundress with my purse and my high platform shoes that i got from nike where you see that, that little belly that's going on there yeah that's gonna get put right there don't play with her <laughs> 
but I just I straightened my hair nothing crazy it looks really good I did it on a low heat so it came out way silkier it's not burnt or anything like that let me go ahead and get my butt up here and say hi to everybody I kind of been being a loner they woke me up at 7 and girl it is noon 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like five hours ago when they first woke me up. Well, four and a half, four and a half. Give them, give or take, give or take. So I'm gonna go ahead and go say hi to them and eat. I should be eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I miss breakfast. I just wasn't really feeling it. I wanted to sleep in a little bit. so lunch was really good i slammed that down i try to be really respectful with my camera when i'm in there because i know some people don't want to be filmed while they're going through their recovery but it seems like a lot of high quality women are in there healing that's a plus my elevator is here i love the elevator it's so cute i'm gonna go to my room real quick and get my bathing suit since I left it, and then I'm gonna go up and hang out by the pool and get a little bit of footage. The security guard gets there around 5 p.m., so I'm gonna try to get some footage in before he gets there. Um, oh, girl, look at my stomach. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like my stomach is huge right now. I've been trying to gain as much weight as possible. <clears throat> But yeah, like I was saying before, the girls in there seem real high quality, and I was just trying to be respectful by not having my um, phone all in everyone's face. My hair is really bumpy in the back, like super, super bumpy in the back. The perm's this way. I don't know why my hair is so bumpy in the back. Like I swear, straightened it. I've been trying not to put too much heat on it though, so that's possibly why. <coughs> It's all bumpy like that. But yeah, I try to be respectful of my camera and I have my camera in everybody's face and just let everyone heal. It's really quiet in there and that's what I really like. I know some people, oh my door. I know some people's recovery houses, like there's women screaming all over the place and it's look, it's like very hospital-like. So that's one thing I really like about my recovery house is where I basically got my own apartment here. <clears throat> The only thing I was complaining about earlier is that I wish I could have had more recovery days here. Like I didn't really come here to hang out in the apartment and by the pool. My apartment and my pool in Dallas is really nice. So I wish like, you know, I would have been let known like, you know, if you come during the weekend, you won't, you know, have any blood testing. Everything's gonna have to wait till Monday and then your surgery won't be till that following Tuesday. Because what it sounded like is my surgery is not even gonna be on the third, it's gonna be on the fourth. And I wish I would have known that because I would have just waited to book my flight and everything Monday. I would have been here Monday and had my surgery Tuesday. <laughs> and I got to, oh sorry, have more recovery time. <clears throat> but I'm really mad at my hair because it looks straight, but it's like not straight in the back. It's like all wavy. That's what it looked like in the um, elevator. But girl, let me put on my bathing suit and get ready to go hang out by the pool. I put on this bathing suit. Y'all, some of y'all might've saw this bathing suit in my last live that I did. It's really cute. I'm about to put my cover up on real quick. Cover up is real cute. Cause I don't like having my ass just all out jiggling, walking around, unless I'm like, you know, in, in the pool. But other than that, I like to put me on a little bitty cover up to keep it cute. 
And because I don't really know who's out there right now, if I'm out there by myself and I really don't mind, but, you know, try to be respectful just in case there's any kids. So yeah, I'm gonna go chill by the pool wearing this. Girl, drinking me some water because I don't know where the liquor's at. I'm about to hit my little joint though. I should have brought, I brought me a little CBD pen. CBD. And um, I brought me a little CBD joint too, a CBD joint. So yeah, we're gonna hit that. <sighs> and look at my view. It's I mean it's decent. It's not like the best view in the world, girl. <laughs> it's cute. I mean, but at least I have my own balcony. You know, down here you could tell some shit happened down there. Like if I were you, I would stay out of that building. But I mean, at least I have my own little balcony, my own little place to hang out. I like it. See, it's cute. It's not big, but it's decent. And, you know, it's nice. It's a little apartment. I love it. So let me have my little CBD joint, and I'm gonna go up there by the pool. And I've been trying to eat as much as possible so I can have as much weight on me before my surgery. Cause girl, I'm trying to leave here snatched up. Okay. Nurse, she already got my BBL pillow blowed up for me. My BBL bed, which I thought was really nice. I was gonna bring the machine, but I didn't. And I need to see if I could just pay someone to buy me some muscle shirts. And that's all I need. I was gonna see if somebody could buy me a loofah and some dub soap and stuff like that, but forget it, girl. I'm not out here for luxury. I'm just out here, you know, be in a nice space for my surgery, and I absolutely love it. This is my last CBD joint. No, but it really is my last one though. I should have brought another. My stuff over here, my little workspace, you know, with my camera. I'm so thankful for this camera. Such a nice camera. And then I just got me a new MacBook. Shout out, baby. Well, he got this MacBook for me. I really appreciate him for that. This is the MacBook Air. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna unbox it. Um, I'll probably go ahead and insert me unboxing it. And then I got, you know, my external hard drive, my plug-in stuff for my jewelry, all of my little accessories for my camera, like my for all my cameras, like my um, SD cards. And these are all like my little plugins for my camera, like SD cards, adapters, things like that. Cause I, I do have three different cameras. I have that camera there. And then my GoPro is over here charging. I'm about to get in the pool with it. And then my shades, my infamous gold Versace shades. Gotta love them. And uh, my headphones and an extra charger just in case. I don't know why my phone is still not charged. It's not 28%. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm actually gonna pack this little suitcase up with some stuff because I'm gonna go sit up by the pool and I feel like chilling up there for a little while and editing up there and stuff like that. So I'm gonna pack up my laptop. I believe my laptop is charged, I'm not sure. Oh, my laptop is dead? No way. 
So yeah, it's completely dead. That's the one thing about the MacBook Air, it does die really fast. But I'm gonna bring all this and my waterproof camera. I'm gonna just bring all my stuff and all my chargers, just in case there's a charging port out there and I can't use it. So I do have an extra battery and if I do need to charge anything, if they don't have a port, I'll just plug it up to my battery. I'm gonna leave my purse up here though, because I just don't feel like carrying my purse and my suitcase. So I'm just gonna bring it all, like my passport, my money for my surgery. Well, no, if I feel like somebody's gonna break in here, I should bring my purse too. So I'm gonna bring my purse. If this is the purse, then we're gonna have all of our little expensive purse. This is the first designer purse I've ever bought myself. I feel like my laptop is dead, but oh, well, I'm gonna bring all this stuff with me. Girl, I paid a whole rent here. I'm gonna go relax by the pool. What you mean? Might as well. I don't ever relax by my pool. <laughs> well, why don't relax by my pool? I'm honestly so happy though that I went and got my lashes done before my surgery. Cause I still want to be in here looking crazy, crazy. I want to look somewhat cute, you know what I mean? prefer a mouse over the laptop mouse. I'm just weird like that. Some water. And I'm gonna honestly leave this camera here mainly because I'm not gonna need it up there. I'm gonna save this camera for the day of my surgery and um, get all the detailing of everything and my doctor talking to y'all about, you know, surgeries and what you know, just giving information on BBL. She's gonna be speaking in Spanish, but I'm gonna have it all translated for y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep this camera for the day I go see my doctor. Oh, there's an even charger. I literally just passed out last night. I couldn't handle it when I was done. So cute. Look at their view from the pool area. Dallas vibe, kind of. <laughs> Girl, my lips are chapped. Let me put on some thick gloss. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.